Well, uh, viewers, uh, today we'll be primarily focusing on uh, writing a PBL scenario for already adopted curriculum or already adopted uh, PBL. Or you see, uh, your senior may ask you to change or update the PBL scenario, and this this video will help you in this scenario. So this is something about the PBL. What is PBL? And you know, the whole story all revolves around a clinical community or scientific problem. And you know, problem. Once we talk about problem, and the, so the problem may be a scenario, or uh, a query, or a puzzle. But the most important thing is uh, the problem-solving phenomena should be there once students solve the problem. Uh, the problem word was used for the first time in 1989 by the uh, Walton and Matthews, and uh, you know, thus PBL is used as a, one of the strong and dynamic learning strategies. Uh, just to refresh your knowledge because we have already discussed this thing in details in the previous videos so uh, What is a scenario? What are the components of a scenario and how it should be presented? So these are the components of scenario that's learning outcome shall be there and there should be uh, you are preparing for which phase of the curriculum Basic sciences clinical sciences or relevance mostly the relevance is not there This is very important and sometimes relevance is there motivation is not there and above all, integration is very important. Integration uh, of basic sciences with the clinical sciences or within the same subjects, you see, uh, within the basic sciences, that physiology, pharmacology, microbiology, or that you are going to teach uh, biochemistry, that how you integrate your uh, weekly plan, and that's very important. And uh, you can plan this at the level of correlation at your timetable or weekly plan as well. So we will go ahead. And the next... Uh, component is the course there should be sufficient course so that the student can get their points and the openness of the scenario shall not be too much uh, should not be too much close to sustain or it should not be too much broad or open so that the student cannot wrap it up and cannot come on the focus or targeted learning objective therefore scenario shall be written as uh, what you can say uh, while keeping all these points in mind and they shall be so that it shall promote students activity at the end and a team activity as well uh, this is some example from the medical education block you see uh, this is the old case uh, of pbl uh, before or uh, joining the uh, medical education department you see so remember i will carry you direct to another situation uh, this is for example a weekly plan and uh, you can plan this you can make this a uh, weekly plan for your college of medicine dentistry or pharmacy or nursing and this is for example first week plan for the course module of medical education and the theme of is concepts in medical education and we teach uh, you see whatever the subjects are this is the initial since students are coming some orientation sessions are there then we are talking about the PBL, this is PBL 2 is there, PBL 1 preliminary session 1 is there, PBL 1 session 2 is there. So you see it is not properly uh, prepared and communication, you are talking about the communication, the role of instruction, you see uh, approaches in the PBL and then 7 jumps is the PBL. So so the theme may be a basic concept in the in medical education. Now most important thing is here that uh, in PBL there are two session session one that and then session two is there and in between in this session one there are five steps and this session two you see there are two steps as well the seven jumps of PBLs uh, students go and prepare their self by self-directed learning this is tutorial session one and this is tutorial session two uh, in each tutorial session the students will 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 frame learning outcomes or learning objectives. Learning objectives. Now, what is important? Your student must know because they will carry this 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 for the first year, second year, and third year. For three years, they will carry how to write how to solve this PBL session one. So they will each week they will write. They will be exposed to in each module exposed to what you can say how to write learning objective and learning outcome but there is nothing uh, is written here about the learning objective and learning outcome so my message to you people is that that there should be a topic related to learning objective for example learning objective you can place it here and put this somewhere else uh, at the back here and this 
preliminary session which is uh, about previous session one you can put some concept and concepts of in medical education so you will put and you will carry it here or you can carry you can you can you can carry it here you see this PBL session one and then session two uh, the PBL session two can be brought somewhere else uh, at the last day it will be it will be best to bring it at the last day why because in each week there should be at least one PBL not more than this so planning for PBL two here is not allowed and then session two and that is this is this is this is this is this is this is not this is not this is not fair with students but i will tell you one thing which is most important thing here you have play, you have to uh, regulate you, you have to do correlation and this correlation is you see you 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 have to you have to proceed for the correlation and how you are going to proceed for the correlation that you will correlate all the topics being being taught here you will correlate all days activity and remember the PBL topic was easy fatigue so how can you rest assured the so the student will go and learn about iron deficiency anemia causes of iron deficiency anemia because in that case that is the case of worm infestation as well you see so this is the case of worm infestation this is this is this is uh, what you can say extremely difficult to for the student once they are being taught the the, the 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 concept in medical education learning objective learning outcomes what is people seven jumps of people and you put a people up uh, easy fatigue you see and uh, or a case of anemia so the stu what what the student will do this is something that that is that is questionable so what we plan for that then we plan for that we brought uh, a people on a learning objective and learning outcome and we made a scenario that the students are going to uh, mix that the, there is there is no difference between the learning objective message on this scenario is and learning outcome and the other students say uh, the no learning objectives are the goal it means that, uh, that that they are mixing the learning objective learning outcome and the goals so here the main message is that the student can differentiate 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 between between learning objectives and uh, learning outcome and learning outcomes so if if this is the target then 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 your objective then your scenario shall be shall be most pertinent and you see here if we apply all these seven steps as i discussed here so learning objective and learning outcome are here in this case learning outcomes are here yes they are also here but it is not aligned with the learning objective or learning outcomes because here you are going to teach anemia but in the medical education block we are going to teach them uh, basic concept of medical education the phase of the curriculum may be the same but 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 it is not the same as it's it's it is a, it should be taught in relevant heme block or any other block related to the uh, hematology so so relevance and motivation so this is not relevant no relevancy in this PBL scenario is uh, it won't motivate the student uh, coups are there but it is not for the relevant phase as I discuss uh, it may be open it may be within the limit but for a hematological hematology module or related to the heme module and it won't promote the student activity why because the student will learn don't have the prior knowledge of anemia related to the hematological profile whence we are going to teach them medical education but if we consider this scenario on the right side so it is that the student is 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 mixing the med, the learning outcome with the learning objectives so now the student should differentiate and now once the student is going to solve this problem this is a tutor guide you see guidance for the tutor so they will focus on the learning objective learning outcome and learning goal and they should uh, write this uh, learning objectives on a b c d formats so that they can they could they could they could understand the basic concept of how to write an objective and what is the difference between these two now this uh, scenario is is relevancy is here yes uh, it will motivate the student because this will synergize to the lecture being given by the teacher and 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 the it promotes the student activity as well and learn the objective as i said in the beginning it's always there so so more this the the newly adapted scenario is also focused on 
is correlated to the weekly theme and uh, theme table as well so you have to you have to plan it at the level of correlation every topic shall be correlated as such so that it can harmonize in a very good way this is the newly adopted scenario and this is the tutor guide that we discussed but the most important thing is since the problem was there they have to differentiate so we will start with the action verb by the and the blanket statement by solving the problem this problem which is presented in shape of this scenario the medical education block this is the audience are there you will write the course code shall be able to shall be able to mean it gives you the competency it gives the competency to your students competency mean the ability to perform certain tasks independently and efficiently here the student will be able to what to differentiate between learning objective and learning outcome you see the students say there is no difference between the learning outcome and learning objective and above all then the student has to write one of them will be scribe as well so they will have to discuss and then write them on abcd format whether that is learning outcome or learning objective so thus it should be aligned with the with the with the basic subject being taught so that you can deliver so that it can deliver to the problem solving phenomena which is the main theme of a pbl thank you